Hello there, guys. Uh, wanted to come and give an update on uh, my after surgery procedure. Um, I'm doing a lot better. Um, got my voice back. And um, I am um, <clears throat> still in pain. Um, so I'm still um, taking my meds. I'm not uh, taking as many as I was, um, but um, still in pain. Uh, well, you know, uh, maybe it's not really pain. It's more of a discomfort, you know. A um, few things will cause me pain if I move too much, too quick. Um, kind of stand too long or anything like that. I'm able to stand a little bit longer and um, able to walk um, a little bit further distance. I still really haven't left. Well, I did leave the house. Um, I wasn't really supposed to, but um, I did get out for Mother's Day. Uh, my son uh, uh, came by and uh, wanted to take me out and everything. And so since I haven't really seen him in a minute, he works so much, um, but I hadn't seen him in a minute. Uh, and uh, so he wanted to come over and take me and my daughter out, <laughs> you know. And uh, that was nice. It was very uncomfortable, but it was, it was nice. And I uh, got to, you know, spend time as a family, me and both my children. And, uh, you know, talk about life and plans and the future and how he's doing and what he's doing and everything. And uh, it was just good. You know, it's just really, really good. So, uh, but yeah, I did get out to do, to do that. Uh, but other than that, I've been kind of staying co close to the house. Uh, walking around in the house uh, wearing loose clothing and everything so anyway I'm I'm doing a lot better and uh, you know I've been um, studying catching up on my studying because uh, when I am a lot better here um, one of the first things I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, take my last two tests and um, try to go ahead and get that done, um, get that done and under my belt. And um, so I'm doing that um, and reading, just catching up on a lot of reading, catching up on uh, new reading. There is an interesting uh, book that I am reading, an in interesting genre I don't know if it's even a genre, but it's it's a new thing that I've gotten into. And uh, because I was speaking to a friend of mine, and we were talking, we are in a really good conversation about uh, church and preachers and pastors and just the whole, um, the whole um, thing of church, the whole thing about it. Uh, and they re referred to me how church and pastoring and preaching, preaching, uh, is a lot like pimping and, you know, which, you know, I, I have heard that before, but they really broke it down, uh, of how, uh, you know, they even went all the way back from slavery times to how, uh, you know, the slave master was like the pimp and the whole thing and, you know, taught the preacher how to pimp the people and everything. And I'm just like, wow, you know, I never, you know, I, I had always, I'd heard it, not a lot, but I had heard it. Uh, but as a Christian, when I heard it, you know, I just figured that they were just being nasty and ugly to the preacher. You know, just some heathen who was, you know, being nasty about the preacher. Uh, but since I'm not a Christian anymore and hearing that again, 
you know, made me, it got me a little intrigued, especially the way that they uh, broke it down and brought it all the way up to, you know, this Reverend Ike guy who used to be, I think, back in the 60s or 70s um, that I had heard about, but never really, you know, looked into him or his life or anything. And then uh, introduced me to some uh, successful pimp uh, named Iceberg Slim, who I had never heard of, uh, and a few other ones that I have to get their names again. But, uh, I mean, the conversation was just absolutely intriguing. And uh, so they told me to, you know, go look up this Iceberg Slim guy and that he had had he had books and everything. So I usually get my books from Amazon. Uh, Kindle. There's a Kindle uh, Unlimited when you are an Amazon Prime member. And um, so I did that. And lo and behold, <laughs> you know, oh, still kind of hurts to laugh. But lo and behold, uh, there he has books, you know. And um, the book that was... Uh, recommended to me is actually I think about 11 or 12 dollars and uh, since I'm not going to spend that kind of money on a book about pimping um, I because I am a Amazon Prime member and because I do read and download so many books from there uh, I have credits and I had some uh, what they call audible credits to where I can I can uh, hear the books audibly um, and so I had about six of them and I used uh, one for the book because like I said it was like $12.99 or something and you know so I got it free bottom line I got it free because I had uh, I used my audible credits and um, there's also another book that I that I um, uh, ordered but there was this one in particular, it was, it was, I think it's a couple of them particularly that I got actually for free. Um, and um, this book was called How to Get a Woman to Pay You. And I already finished it. I, I read the whole thing last night because it was amazing to me. That uh, someone would even have, I mean, that a book like that is even on there. You know, I didn't even know books about pimping were, you know, on the market. Um, but this book is a very short book. It was, it's like a little, uh, it's more like a little um, how-to manual. And um, so... I'm reading this book and some of it, you know, you kind of got to wonder if the book is even serious. Uh, but I believe it is because somebody's buying the book, you know, I mean, he has more than one. And it, it's just amazing that he, the guy mostly very very um limited amount in the book where he is and I'm sorry I'm not being able to use the correct words I'm sorry about that um very few places in the book is what I'm trying to say uh does he actually refer to women or ladies or anything like that um he basically the book he's basically just referring to the bitch He's, he's calling, you know, he's talking to how to, he's talking about how to get the bitch to give you money, how to get the bitch to uh, buy you things, how to spot a bitch, how to, um, uh, I mean, basically, he's just really talking about uh, that most women are lame, insecure, have no fathers. Uh, and want love and want attention and want 
uh, someone to be with them, near them, care about them, love them, uh, and basically how to play on that. Um, he talked about how uh, to use the woman who has no father or has no male figure in her life and how to play on that. Uh, and uh, because these women, uh, as the book says, are weak minded and they're needy and clingy and longing and everything. And even if she is a quote unquote bad bitch or whatever, or if she is a beautiful, sophisticated woman that you don't think, talking about the man, uh, could ever get with or be with or anything like that, look at her as a lame uh, bitch who should be happy to even have you around or have you in your presence. It's basically trying to tell dudes to have confidence and not to ever put a woman on a pedestal, not to ever talk about P-U-S-S-Y or put P-U-S-S-Y on a pedestal as something, as a goal you need to achieve or get, you know, treat them like they need your D-I-C-K or whatever. I mean, <laughs> this book is, it's a trip. It's a trip, you know. Um, it's trying to tell you how, basically how to pimp women, how to get them to buy you things, spend money on you. And what he said, one of the things he said was to get women, excuse me, uh, to try to get women when you spend a certain amount of money on, on women, not even a, a large amount of money, but just enough to make them feel as if you care or if you, you know, take them to a fairly decent place or whatever, um, then, you know, a lot of times if they are a woman who does have some money or have some means or access to money or something like that, um, then she'll feel indebted and grateful to you, you know, because you do spend money on her. Uh, finding ways to point out little things about her that probably another man or what have you would not. And that's going to make her feel good and feel like you are paying attention to her or paying or, or listening to her or paying attention to things that maybe other men won't, you know, because other men may be focused on breast and butt and the, you know, P-U-S-S-Y, whatever. And for you not to put those things or even her beauty or whatever on a pedestal, you know, uh, is saying for you to, uh, make her feel good and make her feel wanted and make her feel as if she is attractive and, you know, throw the beauty out every once in a while, but don't linger on that because it's going to make you look like a simp. <laughs> the book talks a lot about how not to be a simp or how not to be just a regular ordinary guy, you know, uh, basically make her come after you, make her want you or whatever, make her spend money and time on you, uh, be a little, uh, unattached, unavailable to make her want to come after you and seek you, you know, don't just always be around her, you know, um, make her come after you. Let's see what else the book was saying. Um, it was also, um, talking about how to put her in check if she has gotten into the routine of buying you things and taking you places and spending money on you and uh, putting down money for you on things. And if, this is one of the things it said. It said, um, don't just outright ask a woman for money. Like if y'all are going to the store, to the mall or something like that, you know, and you just happen to, matter of fact, it said to go to the mall, to the store, whatever, 
and scout out what you already want, the shoes, the pants, the whatever it is that you want or really want or whatever. And then when you go there with her, uh, you already know what you want or looking for. And what you do is you just pick them up and look at them and, you know, be like, man, you know, these would really be not some nice shoes or these would go with so and so, so and so. Or you really put emphasis on really wanting that really bad. And then, you know, just kind of put it back or don't say nothing else about it or whatever. And, you know, basically, I guess, see if she takes the bait. And what they're saying is because most women are, he called most women lame uh, and needy and wanting you to be around. Uh, and it, it also talked about how you put some really good sex on a woman that'll get her mind and that'll get her heart and emotions and everything. And all of these things will cause her to pay you and buy you things and stuff like that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that seemed to be a tactic, you know, that would work instead of you just asking her for money, go somewhere and, you know, really put emphasis on really wanting something or liking something or whatever. And all the other things that you have done, good sex, uh, giving her little things every now and again, spending time with her, talking to her, uh, making her feel like she's the only one, uh, and all this will cause her to, um, spend money, you know, and you know, some of the stuff that I was reading in the book was, um, so, almost seem ridiculous until it's like, man, is this a comedy book or whatever? But I don't think it is because, you know, some women really do fall for these tactics and these things. And women's, a lot of women's self-esteem is low. A lot of women um, do just want attention, do just want somebody to be there and talk to and make them feel as if they're special and everything. So, you know, I can't just say that it's lame and it just doesn't work because um, obviously it, it, it does. It has to, you know, but um, it's just amazing to hear these guys, my, this guy's mindset and know that there are a lot of guys out there who believe and feel the same way and actually uh, makes this stuff work. But um I think there was something else that I was going to uh, kind of hone in on on this book because uh, it just it just absolutely fascinated me. And, uh, you know, the the psychology, the psychology of it, you know, and how they thought about women, you know, and I'm just like, wow. So but there's another book or two that I'm into and getting into and beginning to read. Um, one of them I think is called how to, uh, live like a pimp or something like that. Uh, I'm into that one right now. And, um, it's, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll keep you ladies updated on, you know, the psychology of this and how these men really think and feel and, you know, and how easy it is for them to be, to, to feel this way. So if that, if that makes any sense. Um, but other than that, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm reading. Uh, I'm feeling better, you know, slowly recovering. And uh, uh, just kind of trying to see if there's anything else. Um, can't really think of anything right now. I might, what I might do is I might, you know, as I'm reading this book and Books like it, you know, kind of jot down little notes and things like that that may be helpful for my sisters because it's, you know, it's it's sad. But it is what it is that there are men out there who actually would get books like this to help them to better manipulate and hurt and use women. Um but it's also good that there are books out there like that. So people like me and other women and, you know, can read these things so that they can get an upper hand on, 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 you know, this type of psychology and this type of mentality. And, you know, I'm going to say I'm, I'm not 
saying this to brag, um, but I'm going to say I never have been a woman who gave men money. Now, th that's not to say that I have never, ever given a man money in my life, but I've never really fell into that, um, to that, uh, what do you call it, that um, long-term thing of giving, just paying for guys, taking, taking care of some guy and just giving him my money and all that kind of thing. Now, um, there have been instances and thankfully those in instances have not been long lived. And I learned from, from each of those in instances. Uh, one of the things also that the book talked about was not trying to do this with women who got children. And one of the main reasons is because she has children. She got to take care of her children. And so it's not going to be a lot of money for you. So they were, you know, saying in the book, try to find women who, you know, who don't really care about money or who money is not, um, who they don't have to use a lot of their money on themselves. That way they can use it on you. And especially, like I say, not having children because children require money and that's going to dip into you. I mean, that really is the, the mindset of, um, of it. And so because I have, uh, I always did have children. I had my son first, he, you know, my son and daughter 15 years apart. And, you know, so I wasn't, you know, burdened down with, you know, three, four, five, six kids, ch uh, children or anything. But because I did always have a child in the home, um, my mindset was always I'm, I don't I'm not going to give a man any money. I'm not uh, you know, it's just not me. That's not what I'm going to do. And why would I do that? And I have children. And then it was always crazy to me that a guy would even ask. You know, I never really had guys to ask, but I did have this one particular guy who did, you know, he used to try to, I think he wanted me to be a sugar mama because he was quite old, uh, younger than me. <laughs> you know, I think he was about uh, 25 at the time. And I think I might've been about like 34, 35, something like that. I don't think I was much older than that, but um, I think he was trying that sugar mama thing on me because he was, I remember we went to the phone store. I had to uh, pay my phone bill or get something done with my phone. And he actually tried that. He was picking up this phone and, oh man, that phone is nice and this and that. And, oh, you know, you know, I would love to have this phone and all this kind of stuff. And then when we got outside, he kept on making references to the phone and all this kind of stuff. And then outright, he just pretty much asked me about buying that phone for him. I'm like, dude, you know, I, I have a child. I'm not, I can't, I can't buy you no phone. I mean, I'm barely paying my own phone bill. I don't make a lot of money. I'm, you know, no, I'm no, <laughs> you know, um, long story short, that relationship didn't last too, too, too long, you know? Uh, but I think that's what he was looking for, you know? Uh, and there have been men who have, who have come around or whatever in my life and have, you know, tried to, you know, get something from me. But my thing was always, you know, I have children. I know, <laughs> you know, I'm a single mom. I'm paying all my own bills. You know, I don't ask anybody for anything. Um, it's a struggle sometimes. You know, and I have to sacrifice a lot and do without a lot because I don't have no money left after I'm done. So, no, I'm not going to buy you, help you, pay for nothing, do anything for you. You know, I'm not going to do that, you know. And I feel like if I'm a single woman and I'm not asking you to help me pay my bills or help me do any help do anything for me, why would I just freely give you anything? You know, so that was always my uh, mentality. And so uh, a Mac, a pimp, a player, or whatever like that could never really come to me with any of that because that was always my thing. You know, I got children. No, I'm single. No, I'm not going to, you know, but um, yeah. So but those 
as the books say, are really not the kind of women that they go after and look for anyway. They're looking for single women. They're looking for women who have certain type of jobs. They're looking for women who uh, carry themselves in a certain type of way or are able to either get money even from other guys and give it to them. Uh, another thing there, they, that the book talked about was a girl who lives with her parents or who are taken care of by her parents and family because basically he called that guaranteed uh, money. If she's getting an allowance, if she's getting some type of uh, monthly money, he's like, you know, that's, that's like, you know, bread and butter. That's, you know, that's guaranteed money. So it is just really amazing. But I wanted to share that. I wanted to throw that out there. Let me know what you, um, I wish I had more ladies who were able to, you know, chime in and let me know what they thought about that. I mean, because it, it's amazing that there are books out here on that. Uh, but you guys, let me know what you think. I uh, hope y'all have a great day. Great week. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. Uh, that's my update on how I'm doing and what I'm doing. And I thought this book was just absolutely fascinating. And uh, I have some more to read. I'm going to be sharing some more with you guys on this uh, topic. But uh, you guys, let me know what you think. Until the next video, we'll see you next time.